Of course, as we've been telling you, we continue to look at the situation with the election yesterday. The nation's eyes on Virginia. Governor Glenn Youngkin, of course, was hoping for that Republican sweep last night. But the Democrats were able to hold on to the Senate. Then they even flipped the House. So not only did not move ahead, but, but the governor lost one. That's right. So what does this mean for lawmakers ahead of the next legislative session? 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is live tonight in the newsroom to explain the political implications. Lindsay? Well, with Youngkin in the governor's office and Democrats now holding a majority in the General Assembly, that could mean a gridlock enrichment. I spoke with 10 News political analyst Dr. Ed Lynch. He says the national debate over abortion ultimately won Democrats the House, with Democratic voter voters eager to protect abortion access. He believes Democrats will try to pass progressive policies during next year's General Assembly session, particularly on economic issues. Despite pressure, it could turn into a political game of ping pong with both sides digging in their heels. Democrats won a huge victory in the election here in Virginia, and they've created expectations among their voters. Their voters are going to want that majority to deliver. And I'm hard for me how the Democrats are going to do that with Glenn Youngkin in the governor's office. Coming up tonight at 6, here why Lynch thinks lawmakers will have trouble passing other legislation, including next year's budget. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.